Hi, today's video we are going to talk about the help menu on the Starfront program. There are a lot of important options under the help menu, so this is going to be a valuable video for you guys to watch. Once you're in the Starfront program, the last menu is the help menu. And we will go through the different options on the help menu. First of all, there's an about button. What the about button does is it just gives you all of your contact information and your version number for the, ver the copy of Starfront that you're currently running. So I can see this is Starfront version 4. The exact version is version 1.4.32. Copyright 2020 for a speaker. It's registered to Stargate Aluminium. The registered user is Stephen Levanderis. The serial number is blah, blah, blah. My license expires on the 13th of the 4th, 2020. So once I hit that point, the program will ask me to reactivate. Uh, for support, I must contact support at stargate.co.za or 011-875-2118. And then right at the bottom here, there's another date, which is program expires, on my case, on the 30th of the 6th, 2020. So every version of Starfront, we only make it active for a maximum of six months. And that is just to ensure that everyone stays up to date on the latest version of the program. So we will ensure that there's an update that comes out before the 30th of the 6th, 2020, and that would have another future update of six months later. So there's a lot of good information you can get from the About screen. Um, if you are wanting to contact support, it is a good idea to take some of this information, include it in your support request, and then we can check exactly what version number, if your program has expired, if your license has expired. Okay, so that's the help menu. Then, you can also access the legal disclaimer. This is the same legal disclaimer as comes up when you first run the program. It's advisable for you to read through this legal disclaimer and understand the terms and conditions under which you are using the Starfront program. It is also possible to print that legal disclaimer and either accept it. If I select cancel at this point, it will take me out of the program. Okay, then the next step is the registration button. This is what you click when you want to register your staff for a program. As of the last three or four weeks, we have moved the staff front registration to an automated online system. Uh, this is so that you guys can register, reactivate at any time of the day and the night, 24 seven, and you don't have to wait for someone on the other end to respond to your request. So, there is a link on this page to register your Starfront. When you first get Starfront, it will tell you that you haven't registered and it will automatically bring up the screen. So what you need to do is if you click on that link, it will open up your Internet Explorer and it will take you directly to our online registration page. Now there's a couple of things that you can do here. You can either register your program you can reactivate an existing version. If you can't remember your details, if you can't remember your serial number or anything like that, you can go to find my details and then there's a general contact us page as well. So when it comes to registering the program, what you need to do is you need to fill in this information. You need to fill in your first name, your surname, your email address. And guys, please note that a valid email address is required as your registration details will be sent to this address. So don't put in a fictitious email address because you won't get your, um, your details. Uh, you fill in your contact number, the company that you're working for, and then you need to choose your Creolco distribution partner. So if you drop down that list, you'll get a list of all of the registered Creolco distribution partners. You would select your Creolco distribution partner from that list. And when you click on register, it's going to do two things. It is going to send an email to your registered email address, giving you your password, your serial number, your reactivation details on the program. Okay. But it will also send an email to your selected stockist. 
And your selected stockers will be notified that you have selected them as the, your supplier. And if you do not purchase from them, then they have the option to contact us and say, please do not activate this person, in which case your program will automatically expire. All right, so once you've completed this form, you need to then go into your email and you need to pick up your registration details from that email. Okay, just to go through the other options, the reactivate works on a similar basis, except you will need to put in your serial number. If you are reactivating directly from the Starfront program, the Starfront program will populate your serial number for you. If not, you will have to go into Starfront and you will have to access your serial number and type your serial number in here in order to reactivate the program. All right, find my details. If you've forgotten your details, you can click on find my details. You can enter your registered email address. I'm just going to use my registered email address and say, send me my details. Okay, details have been sent to the email address provided. Now I'll simply go into my email address and I will pick up my serial number, my who, which stockist I'm activated for, and even the password that I require to activate that stockist. So all of my registered details will be sent back to me. And finally, just a contact us page where you can contact um, Stargate for any help on your registrations. Okay, so guys, the process is very simple. Please just keep in mind that when you reactivate, once you click on this reactivate button, don't click on it three, four, five times because you're just going to get three, four or five emails. Wait five to ten minutes for that email to come through from the server. It is an automated process. There's no human intervention required. And then you will have your details that you can put into the Starfront program. So once I've done my registration or my reactivation, whatever is applicable, then I will go back now into my email and I will pick up my serial number. I'll enter my company name. My username and my email address is vital that I enter that in the exact same way as I used to register. If you put a different email address here or spell it slightly different or use a capital S for Stephen instead of all in lowercase, then the program will tell you that it can't reactivate or can't register. Okay, so once you've done your registration and everything is correct, you click on the, okay, the green tick and your program is now registered for you. Okay, the next button, the reactivate button. Now, reactivate works similarly, okay? You will now see who your registered company is, your serial number, your username, your email address, okay? And if your program has expired, First of all, you'll be warned about 10 days before the program is about to expire. It'll say, warning, your program will expire in 10 days, 9 days, 8 days, and it'll count down like that for you. All you need to do is, when it comes up with that, is click on the reactivate button, go to this page, and click on the button which says, click here to reactivate Starfront now. Once I click on that button, it will take me again to my reactivation website but it has automatically filled in my details for me and I just have to click on reactivate. It says here in green, successfully reactivated. Please check your email for your reactivation details. All right, so I'll just go into my email and I will now pick up um, this information at the bottom here. I will get a new expiry date and I will get a new reactivation code, which I must type in. So check and my program will reactivate for me. All right, so that is the reactivation process that you need to go through. Okay, once I've, that is how I reactivate my program. The next is a button which lists all of the available stockists. So these are all the registered Creelco distribution partners that are available um, to use on the Starfront program. As long as you buy from one of these people, then you can utilize the Starfront program free of charge. Um, if you click on any one of them, let's just click on Conway's because they've just got the most branches. 
Then you will see I will get a breakdown of all of the different branches, telephone number, fax number, and an email address. Okay, so on each of the stockers I can go in and I can pick up the contact details for that particular stockist. Okay, then the next button is a button labeled Network. Uh, this is a document which explains to you how to install Starfront in a network environment. Uh, Starfront is fully network compatible. Um, what a lot of people unfortunately don't realize is working in a network environment does slow the program down. It also means that if you're working from a laptop and you not take that laptop home, you're not going to have access to Starfront because your data is going to be sitting back at the office. So before you go ahead and implement Starfront on a network, rather call Stargate for support. Um, I'll discuss the pros and cons with you and then you can make a decision as to whether you want it installed in a network environment or in a standalone computer environment. Okay, but that's a technical document that can help you through that process. Uh, then there's a list of frequently asked questions. A lot of questions that people have, for example, if we look at this first one, how to change your currency from a dollar to a rand. A lot of these have nothing to do with Starfront specifically. They are Windows related. Um, how to download and run TeamViewer. How to fix a network initialization error. How to fix the error unknown alias in Starfront. Um, how to reinstall Starfront, how to re repair your tables if Starfront won't run, and how to set the correct options for SF4 automatic updates. So, again, just to help you with the support, so if you can't get hold of someone, at least you can go through and take the common questions. If we look at that first one, how to change your currency, you'll see it's very detailed and it explains exactly step by step in Windows where to go and what to change to change your currency symbol. Okay, so that's a very useful um, list of questions, frequently asked questions that, that you can have a look at. Uh, the next button is the support button. We have looked at it on previous videos, but just quickly, um, for help on registering and reactivating Starfront, you must use the registrations at stargate.co.za email address. If you need to reactivate your Starfront, you can click there and that will take you to the website as well. For any help on cutting lists or the aluminium systems, then you need to speak to a speaker. That's their phone number, 011389067. Uh, for any help on the Starfront program, you can call Stargate. This is our office number, 011875 or email support at Stargate. For your fastest results, email your team viewer ID and password to support at Stargate with a brief description of the problem you have. That is your quickest way to get things sorted out. As soon as we receive that email, someone will log on via team viewer, fix the problem and you can carry on working. Um, for help on training offered by Stargate, you can contact Natasha at the Stargate office number or Natasha at stargate.co.za. Now we utilize TeamViewer for support. TeamViewer is a program that you run on your side. It comes up with a user ID and a password. If you give us that user ID and password, then we can log on to your computer and we can operate your computer from a remote location. There's no security risk involved because if you don't give out that user ID and password, no one can access your computer. So if you don't have TeamViewer, you can install it by clicking on this link at the bottom here. Then the next, the next four buttons are links to the various websites related with the Starfront program. Obviously, we've got the core Starfront website that you can go into and you can access information on registering Starfront, what is Starfront, Starfront course details, a whole lot of information. That's the main Starfront website. The second one is the FPD, the Fenestration Performance Declaration website. So now this is a website where you can produce an FPD document, which is a document you can supply to your architect which states that you have met certain criteria in the design process. Okay, then there's a link to the USOLV website. Uh, USOLV is a software package that allows you to calculate the thermal performance of aluminium windows. It's free to download. You can go to this website Register for your free version, you'll be sent a link, and then you can download the program. 
Okay, and then finally, there's a link to SmartCut. SmartCut is a glass optimization program. Um, it's, you can download a free trial version, a 330-day trial version if you want. Thereafter, the program costs you about 200 rand a month. And this is a glass optimizer that works in conjunction with Starfront. So it will take automatically all of your glass sizes from Starfront into SmartCuts and it will optimize your glass cutting for you. Okay, so that covers the help menu and, and also the register and reactivation process. Uh, just to clarify, registration is a process you do once. When you first get the Starfront program, you register the program. You'll be sent a serial number um, and an activation date and expiry date. You will put that information into the computer and you will be able to work with Starfront for three to six months, depending on what that reactivation period is defaulted to. Then you will get an expiry message popping on your screen saying that your program will expire in 10 days, 9 days, 8 days, whatever the case is. All right. And what you need to do then is to go in and just click on the reactivate button. The purpose of that is so that we keep your contact details up to date and we keep track of how many people are working on the staff from program. That reactivation process happens every three to six months. It just depends on, on, on what the default reactivation period is set um, on the program at that stage. At different times of the year, for example, over December, if you reactivate in, in uh, November, it will only it'll give you longer so that you don't um, expire over December, January period. All right, so that is the help menu. Once again, thank you for taking time to watch this video. Please stay safe, stay healthy, stay happy, and we'll see each other soon in another video. Bye-bye.